In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a variety of ways to put files into the trash. At this time, I would like to draw your attention to the dock. And you'll notice that the rightmost app on the dock is always trash. And as you can imagine, this is where you're going to put those files that you no longer want on your computer. So for instance, I have a variety of files on my desktop and I want to move these to the trash. One way is to simply click on the file you want to move to the trash, hold and drag the file into the trash. And when I let go, now as you can see the file is no longer on my desktop. And you'll also notice the trash appears to have something in it. That's because before I started this video my trash was empty and now I have put something in my trash and this visual tells you that there is actually something in my trash can. Yet another way to move a file to the trash is by right clicking on the file. And you can do this with a two button mouse or simply pressing control and then clicking on the file. And you'll see here you have an option that says move to trash. If I click on this, that image has been moved to the trash. Again, whatever method you decide to use, whether it be the right click method or to simply click, hold and drag the item to the trash, either will work. And now as you can see, I have three files left. Of course, I can go ahead and just select multiple files and move them to the trash like so. And when I let go, as you can see, the files are no longer on my desktop and they are now in my trash. But then the question becomes, well, how do I know what files are in my trash? If you go ahead and right click on the trash app, you'll see you have an option to open or empty the trash. If I hit empty the trash, that means whatever is in your trash app will be deleted. And the way I usually explain putting items into the trash can is by comparing it to actually physically putting a piece of paper into a trash can. If you put a piece of paper into the trash can, you can go ahead and remove it or restore it at any time. However, if that piece of paper in that trash can gets emptied into the dump, it is much more difficult to recover that piece of paper. And by pressing on empty trash, that's essentially what you're doing is sending that piece of paper to the dump, making it very difficult to recover it. At this time, however, I'm going to go ahead and click on open so you can see the actual files in my trash. And again, these are the images that I recently had open on my desktop. And if you look near the upper right region of this window, you can see I have a button there that says empty. If I go ahead and click on this, it will empty the files that are in the trash. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, it says, are you sure you want to permanently erase the items in the trash? I can hit empty trash and they will be gone or I can hit cancel. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Now let's say I want to go ahead and restore one of these files. I could simply click, hold and drag the file back to the desktop or basically whatever location you desire, desktop, finder, so on and so forth. Or I could simply go ahead and right click on a file in the trash and you can see I have the option to put back and this will put the file back to where it was previously before you put it into the trash. When I click on put back, it will remove the file and put it on the desktop as you can see because that's where it was before I actually moved it into the trash. And it is good to note that you can move items into the trash from the desktop or from Finder. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And once again, I'm going to draw your attention back to the trash can in the dock. Another way to show the menu that I showed you earlier, the open and empty trash menu, is by simply clicking and holding, and you can see that little menu appears to open or empty trash. If I click on empty trash, I'm given that same option. Am I sure? If I say hit empty trash, you'll notice that the trash can is now empty, and those files have been basically taken to the dump. Well, there you have it multiple ways to put files into the trash can, how to restore files from the trash can, and how to empty your trash can.